Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and this is question number 23 from the October-November 2020 um, IGCSE Cambridge Paper 2 Variant 1. This is from the 0580 Extended Syllabus. And this question here is about vectors and vector geometry, and it tells us that the diagram shows a parallelogram, very important word, CDEF. The vector from F to E is given the um, notation M, and C to E is defined as the vector N. B is the midpoint of CD. Okay, so this kind of divides that into the ratio 1 to 1. And FA is equal to 2 times AC. So if this is one part, that will be two parts. FA is two parts, AC is one part Okay, of this line over here. And then it tells us, find an expression in terms of M and N for the vector from A to B. We've got to find the vector from A to B. Now, if we look at this diagram, A to B can be found if we know how to go from A to C. Go from A to C and then from C to B. So if I can find what A to C is and what C to B is, I can find what A to B is. Let's add them together. So let's look at A to C first. Let's look at the vector from A to C. Now, from A to C, um, it's kind of like one-third of F to C. A to C is one-third of F to C, because this is one part and the whole thing is three parts. So we can say A to C is the same as one-third of F to C. And F to C I can find in terms of M and N, because I know from F to C is going from F to E plus E to C, it's M minus N. We know that... Therefore, A to C is going to be a third times F to C, which is M minus N. Okay, so there's the A to C part. Okay, that's A to C. Um, so we found A to C. We need now to find C to B. Okay, now, if we look at C to B, C to B is pretty easy because this is a parallelogram, so the opposite sides are parallel. So this side is parallel to this side. Okay, so they, and they're also equal in length. So I know that C to D is the same as F to E. They're the same vector, F to E. Okay, so they're both equal to the vector M. So C to D is M. And C to B, we know, is a half. C to B is going to be a half of C to D, so it's a half of M. Okay, so therefore we can say the vector from A to B is equal to the vector from A to C plus the vector from C to B which we've determined is a third times m minus m minus n plus a half of m. Okay, now we're almost there. We have to just simplify this. Let me just neaten this up a bit. We're almost there. So now we can simplify this. This is a third times m minus a third times n plus a half times m. I want to add the m terms together. So I can say that this is equal to, that's like 2 sixths of m plus, and this is going to be 3 sixths of m and minus 1 third of n. I've just combined these two terms together. That gives me 5 sixths of m. If I add these together, minus 1 third of n. And there's a vector from A to B. Okay, so that's part A done. Part B, it says... G to H equals 5 6 of 2P plus Q and J to K equals 5 over 18 times 2P plus Q. Write down two facts about vectors G to H and J to K. Now, this is not related at all to this question. They're different letters, different vectors. It's just a, a question by itself. Um, so basically, what we can see that both of these are expressed as multiples of the same vector. Okay, the, this is 5 6 of 2p plus q, and this is 5 18 of the same vector. So that means that these two vectors are basically, they are parallel to each other. If you, if you can express two vectors as, um, you know, um, factors of the same or multiples of the same vector, they are parallel. So we can say that, the first point we can say that they are parallel. We can say gh is parallel to jk. The vector g to h is parallel to the vector j to k. That's one thing. And the second point we can note is we can see that, you know, they are, we can compare their sizes because this is 5, 6 and this is 5, 18. So gh, of course, is, 
is is longer is is a, is 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 a bigger magnitude than j to k we can even find what that magnitude is so let's just do that over here i can say that if i can re rewrite this if i multiply both sides by six here i've got six times gh is equal to five times 2p plus q okay and here i have 18 times jk is equal to um, five times 2p plus q okay so now what we can say here is that um, 6 times GH must be the same as 18 times JK. Okay, because they're both, the 6 GH is equal to something and 18 JK is equal to the same thing. So these two things must be the same. Which means if I divide both sides by 6, GH is 3 times. Because 18 divided by 6, 3 times JK. Just divide both sides by 6. So we can say GH, you can just even write it like that, is equal to 3 times JK. 3 times the size of JK. You could also write, I guess here, as a maxim does state, GH is, um, is longer than JK or is greater magnitude of JK. But here, I think this is more complete if you can actually write down how much uh, its magnitude is bigger. So GH has a magnitude 3 times the magnitude of JK. That's what we can tell from these uh, statements above and that concludes this question and it concludes the paper other questions from this paper when i get to answer them will be in the playlist which is going to appear somewhere over here at the end of the video you can click on that link to find that other questions to do with vectors from igcse can be found in the playlist the link for which will appear over here you can subscribe by to the channel by clicking on the link in the middle don't forget to look at other material I have from IGCSE work, from A-level work, by looking at the description of the video and clicking the links there. Thank you for watching. Hope you understood and see you soon.